Good morning. Does this look good to you? Mmm, it looks special, doesn't it? But watch this. Does it look as special now? Well, maybe with this on top it does, but this part doesn't look quite as special, does it? So here's something to think about today. You know, I like to make my Facebook page a place where you can find helpful information that you might not find other places or might be hard to find other places because you just don't know where to look. So, something to think about today. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I like it. I like coffee. This is something to think about today. What attracts you to eating? Do you see ads on TV or magazines and, oh, you feel like, oh, I want that. Oh, let's order a pizza or, you know, whatever it is. Let's go out to eat at this place or that place. Well, did you know that one of the reasons why food ads and billboards and magazines show so many beautiful pictures of food is because scientists have found that it lights up the same area of your brain that an addict gets lit up, you know, for their drug of use, <laughs> drug of preference, whatever. Yeah, advertisers know what's going to get you interested in buying their product, especially when it comes to food. You know, like my coffee looked much more special when it was in layers. You know what it was? There was oat milk on the bottom and then the coffee. And my coffee machine makes a kind of a, well, it's called crema. It's a foam on top. Um, so it looked special and delicious, but you know, it's good coffee, but it's a regular cup of coffee. So how can you think, how can you control when you see things and all of a sudden your mouth starts watering? Well, one way that you can is to just stop and think about it. You know, I'm always talking about this. Stop. Okay. Am I really hungry? Challenge the, the thoughts and feelings that you're having, okay? In other words, think about them. Don't just think about your mouth watering or how it will taste, but stop. And if you can't get it out of your mind, then get up, go in another room, go outside. Gee whiz, slap yourself if you need to. <laughs> in a way, you know, in like they used to say, if somebody's hysterical, slap them. Um, well, there's some truth to that because you want to knock yourself out of the thoughts that you're in so you're free to think differently. And honestly, if it takes slapping yourself on the face or maybe even putting a whole uh, cold washcloth on your face, or, you know, it's probably easier to stand up, to stretch, to walk outside or in a different room, stop looking at the TV or the magazine or the billboard, but stop and challenge that thought. You know, what is it that I want? And is this... This is an important thing to think about. A lot of people don't think about this. What is my ultimate goal in life to make me happy? And is this going to move me towards it or away from it? How often do you think about that? I've started thinking about that a lot more because I've found that it actually makes me happier and gives me a sense of accomplishment when I say to myself, oh, wait, if I eat all that stuff, one, I know I'm not going to feel so good tomorrow, but two, 
I'm gonna say to myself, why did you eat that? That's, a, that's kind of like a setback. You know, when reality faces you, you have a choice. Are you going to face it back or are you gonna turn around and run away? So we're all adults here, okay? So when you see something that looks pretty, it may really be something just kind of plain, just done up with ribbons and bows and bells and whistles and stuff. Take a minute and think about it and don't just fall for Okay? Think about how my coffee looked so pretty and special and delicious. And then when I stirred it up, it looks like coffee. And it is coffee. Okay. Think. And after you've challenged however you're feeling or thinking, make a choice. Try to think about, is this going to bring me towards where I want to go or away? Think about it. Okay. Have a good day.